Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back for the Monster Jam Arena Final. Now, this is something that you guys have been asking about uh, quite a bit, and it's really quite funny. My backflip video from March still gets quite a few views, and I know people still want to see the conclusion to this little mini-series, so we have done this here today. Uh, we've added some things to the actual Monster Jam Arena itself, uh, some new stands, we got a new truck, a couple of optimizations to go over real quick, and then I'm going to release this to you guys, this is going to be the final version, uh, the download is down in the description. Now real quick, I want to go ahead and announce that we are doing still another Discord contest, uh, it's a video game theme that ends tonight at midnight, so if you haven't got your entry in yet, uh, go post it over at the Discord which is also linked in the description. And remember folks, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe leave this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into this. You know, it still amazes me that this video, or at least the last video, is still so viewed after so long. And it was the Monster Jam backflip video. And really what it was, it was the Monster Jam Arena. I think I added a couple things. I built one of the trucks. I want to say it might have been the Maximum Destruction truck. And we built this backflip ramp. But the funny thing is, the download link that I included in that video doesn't have the backflip ramp. And I just now realized that after going back and re-downloading the map. So I do apologize for all the people that probably downloaded that and were like, Man, Komodo, you are a disappointment. So, anyways, this download's gonna have the backflip ramp in it. Uh, we do have a new truck here today, and this is actually a Komodo truck. Uh, we'll go over that here in a second. Now let's go over as far as what's changed with the arena. Well, one of the big things that's changed is some optimizations. This thing runs good, like right here in the middle, uh, but when you get close to the walls on either side, it started to run a little bit like garbage. Uh, so I have done some cuts. You can see some there's some new uh, holes in the walls in uh, certain spots. And I went ahead and added probably one of the highly, I think it was probably the highest suggested thing. And that was a, uh, people wanted to see a Jumbotron. Now, initially, my first thoughts were, hey, we're just going to close the arena and have it like a stadium. But then you kind of realize that Scrap Mechanic has its limitations when it comes to, uh, what we say when it comes to uh, hardware and optimization. And I didn't want an arena that ran at like five frames per second. So, we have a new video board. We're actually going to climb up there and check that out. Uh, over here, nothing much has changed except for I have added two new little sections of grandstands. Uh, it looked a little empty besides the uh, or beside the American flag there, uh, so we did add some grandstands. We'll go ahead and jump up into those real quick. Uh, give you guys just a quick view. Uh, I would say they are they're decent seats. Uh, they've got a little bit of a weird angle on them. Like if you're down low, this is not bad at all. You can almost see the jumbotron. I almost stuck them on the side there, uh, but if you're back too far, you're kind of behind the flag. But you do have a view into like the uh, the backstage and the pits and all that. So. Let's go. We're gonna get up in the video board itself now out here really I originally talked about like maybe putting some food stands and all that But then I realized that it's just gonna make unnecessary lag for something that you guys are probably not gonna interact with at all so uh, The only thing I really wanted to add was the uh, you can see the huge poles that lead over for the uh, video boards Which yes folks you can climb up in these so you just walk up here I probably need to like stick some sort of elevator or something, but we're gonna go ahead and use the chairs here. Now I hope you guys are not afraid of heights because, uh, yeah, this is pretty high off the ground. You know, heights kind of creep me out in real life. I'm always not a fan of admitting that. Like I love roller coasters, but when it comes to something like if I was on top of this right now, uh, I would be stuck right in the middle, laying down, and somebody's gonna have to pull me off to get me down. So. Oh yeah, this is not bad. This has got a nice view, and this also gives you guys a kind of a perspective of how big the arena is and just how much detail there is. You can see the backstage, uh, there's the stage area over there, there's some like concessions there, video or smaller video boards, you got the TV towers, you've got all the grandstands. Uh, you got over here, you can see the American flag, the new stands on each side. Yeah, it just kind of gives you a perspective of truly how awesome this arena is. I, I love the way this thing came out. So, anyways, let's go ahead and climb down into here. I did make like a little backstage thing behind the uh, video boards. Let's go ahead and give you guys a view of the video board real quick. 
Uh, you can see these. These are at an angle. I did have them like straight up and down, but then I realized the angle was really bad for the grandstands. Uh, so we did turn them. Oh, and we just fell off. Well, that's rather embarrassing. Uh, maybe we need to use a little bit of magic here. We'll get right back up there. <laughs> oh no, it's magic. Wow, I got back up here really quick. So anyways, let's do this without falling off. Uh, you can climb down into here. Uh, you always see this on like video boards if you ever go to like a football stadium or something. And there's always like a little area in between them, I guess, where they work the boards. They probably work lights up here and everything else. Uh, so we have like one of those little areas you can kind of look down. Uh, you're right behind the video boards themselves. So I just thought this was a cool little detail to add to the arena itself. So we can just hop up here and you should be able to hop right back up here. Now we can jump off without any consequences. Alright, there we go. Now the only area of concern here on the arena, this, the stands are still a little bit laggy. Uh, but it's actually, it's not too bad, at least not on my desktop. On my laptop, it's a little laggy. So depending on what hardware you guys are using will depend on kind of the performance you're going to get out of the arena itself. Uh, but obviously, it's uh, it's not too bad on my desktop here. But let's go check out the, uh, the concert stage one more time real quick to give you guys a refresher on that. And then we're going to jump into some trucks. All right, just a little reminder, we're going to walk up here. Uh, this is like a little backstage area. You can kind of see through the uh, catch fencing here. Uh, we're on the opposite end of the entrance for the trucks. Uh, got some picnic tables set up here. Got some, we'll call these Porta Johns over here. And you have like a little stage. If you can have like a little performance and stuff, maybe before it or maybe after the uh, the actual arena show. So I keep calling it an arena. I don't know if this does this count as an arena. I guess it does. I wouldn't say it's a stadium. Maybe we'll just keep it the arena name. But anyways. So, you're probably asking about, well, what can you do in this? And for anybody that's already watched these episodes, they pretty much know uh, the setup that we have in here. We've got several little smaller ramps with car jumps, or you can just run over the cars themselves. Uh, you've got a couple big ramps set up here. Uh, we've got a line of buses over here. You've got, like, the middle ramp, and this one you can hit from pretty much four angles, and you can either backflip off this one, or sometimes backflip off of it, or you can kind of launch over and try to hit the other side. And then we have, of course, the infamous backflip ramp. So you want to hit this straight across, hit it, nail the gas, and it should flip you over. So we do have a new truck here today, too. And I, at first I was going to do another Monster Jam truck. I have pretty much all of them out. I think I'm missing the uh, Monster Mud. I don't know where that one is. Maybe it's on my lift somewhere. But I wanted to create something a little bit more for me. So we have like a Komodo style monster truck here. Uh, it is using the Komodo. We're going to call it the 2.1 chassis. I had the 2.0 chassis that most of the monster trucks in the background are built off of. Uh, this one's just a little bit different. It's a couple suspension adjustments and a couple bar adjustments and the engine's in a new spot too. So I am using some mod parts. You can see the, uh, the Durf engine. Let's go ahead and get a closer view of this real quick. Uh, you got the Durf engine kind of hanging out the front. I know that's not a not a typical spot you see a monster truck engine in. Normally it's either in the back or on the side. Uh, but we have this one here. So I thought it looked pretty cool. It looks like a classic, almost like a classic truck I would say. Except for it's all blacked out and you've got some of the red on the side. And I do have something for my, uh, my Texas viewers here. I tried to make the Texas flag on the back. Uh, the star didn't come out great, but you kind of get what's going on there, and you can see the, uh, the little flag there. Now, as far as to get into this thing, you're going to walk under it here, look up. The seat is hanging down a bit, and here we are. You can kind of see inside. I really wish the view was a little higher here, but this is a seat. You know, I probably could replace this with a normal seat. Uh, you would be a bit higher. But, yeah, uh, this thing drives around pretty much the same as the other monster trucks. You don't want to be on the gas too long. You kind of have to putt around the arena. Uh, we're going to circle around and come in like we're coming in for a run. That way you can see the uh, features here at the uh, flags. All right, we are ready to make our run here in the Monster Jam Arena. Let's go ahead, go up the entrance ramp here. We want to activate all the pyro here. There we go. See, it's all lit up. It actually has another trigger here. It should stop it. So anyways... I'm not the most coordinated person, but I'm going to try my best to hit a couple jumps here. We can hit the uh, front jump. Now, if you stall it out like that, you can kind of do a... Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't mean to stall it that far. So, yeah, we're a little bit stuck. Hold on. 
I got an adjustment here. I did cheat with this truck. I do have a couple of Pico thrusters in there. Uh, my other trucks don't do this, but uh, a lot of people wanted to see something like that. So if you ever get stuck, uh, you can make small adjustments. The uh, one key, I think, lifts up. And the actually, the one key lifts down. A uh, two key lifts them up. So if you ever need a little bit of assistance, it also makes it where you can do some sweet, uh, kind of, we'll call it willies here. I, I don't know if we can actually call it since it's not like a legit one. Uh, but you can kind of pop it up here. Let me go in. Ah, let's get in position. We'll go over here real quick. All right, ready for the most totally legit Willy you've ever seen in a monster truck? Totally not assisted. <laughs> you know, once you get it up, you don't have to use them. You can kind of just kind of balance on your uh, back wheels here. Just back and forth. Can we do that without using those? Let's go ahead. We're going to nail the throttle, see if we can pop it up. I think the suspension's too stiff in the back, so it won't actually give and lift. Uh, but it also helps it. Oh, there we go. There we go. No assistance right there. <laughs> oh, that actually looks like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, there's several different uh, suspension adjustments that you're going to want to make when you're driving around, depending on how you can drive these things. Uh, I like to have typically a little bit stiffer suspension all the way around. It just makes it to where these, uh, these vehicles turn better. Now, somebody always suggested to do like a uh, double bearing steering on these, and I tried that. And it's not good at all. Like, it turns way too quick. Uh, we're actually going to try to hit the backflip ramp here. Yeah, it's just, it's violent. So, let's go and hit this. Oh! Oh, that was a sloppy attempt. I hit that at an angle. Hold on, we're going to line back up. I got to at least make one legit backflip. You know, I swear I'm the most coordinated scrap mechanic player that anybody's ever seen. Here we go! <laughs> that, was a, uh, that was a little too aggressive there. Uh, it's kind of weird when you backflip you need to catch the back wheels on the ground right before you uh, Right when your front wheels leave because it flips the car or flips the truck over I should say let's try that one more time here and There we go <laughs> It took a little bit, but it works All right, so let's go ahead and turn around here Whee! Komodo needs to adjust his monster jam skills uh, We're gonna call it skills of the Z. <laughs> Man, you know, I kind of forgot how tight the uh, arena is. You can get around it. It doesn't help that I have uh, some trucks parked here on the edge. So you can't make the full, like, run. Uh, you're meant to really do this in a, uh, I would say, not in a race setting, but there's just a line that you can hit. And it's basically, you can go take the full, almost like oval outside. And we are stuck up against the wall here. Yeah, you can almost take, like, the oval outside. And then if you need to make a run down the middle, you can do that. Uh, some people always suggested, hey, you need to do like a race version of this, which it's basically almost set up like a race version. Uh, what I would change, I would move the middle ramp out and have like a start finish line. So they almost kind of just do this uh, almost like a loop or something. Let's go ahead and hit this. There we go. Set it back down. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, can we correct it? We're too willing. We're too willing. Uh, we're going to have to use a little bit of cheat thrusters here. Actually, do we have this stuck? What the heck? Okay, I'm not using thrusters. All right, slowly tipping. I'm gonna use a little bit of thrusters, kind of keep it up. Man, if I could do this in real life, I'd be a professional monster truck driver. I could do this totally, guys. Uh, not really, though. I do have mad respect for these people. Uh, you know, a lot of people think, oh, it's just you're driving around a monster truck and you're just hitting jumps and you're holding it wide open. No, it's not that at all. These things are, you can tell they're tough to drive. If you listen to their on and off throttle time, and how they're just, they have to almost putt around. There's so much power to these things. And you're trying to keep it in this uh, kind of small arena. So you see how they do that, how they hit the jumps. Uh, these guys are actually talented drivers. I know a, a lot of people, some monster truck drivers, or a lot of monster truck, anti-monster truck people get this weird, like, hey, these people aren't, like, actual true talented drivers. And to that I say, no, you don't know what you're talking about. These people are, these, these people are indeed talented, unlike me. <laughs> But anyways, we've got a couple more things we want to hit here, and then we're going to move on. Uh, let's line up here. Now, we probably should just plow over these vehicles. Let's go ahead and go up here, and now the throttle. There we go. Land right on the school buses. Go off. Yeah, that's where the, the only positive to the double bearing steering was the whole fact that it turns on a dime, but I noticed that the, uh, the tires seem to get stuck a lot more with double bearing steering for some reason, so uh, that's why I didn't go with it on the vehicles here. Uh, but I did listen to the suggestions. Uh, let's go ahead and just plow over the vehicles this way. I think we can climb up on top of these. So we'll hit these. There we go. 
Got to run over those. I don't think we can get up this pile. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit it from this angle. There we go. Oh, <laughs> going to flip us over here. Oh, we might need some assistance. Oh, yeah, we're going to be stuck here. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's all about getting them back wheels. Uh, the back wheels are set on a different uh, thrust, or not thrust, or engine setting than the front wheels. So uh, if you ever need to adjust those, you can do that. And that's one of the changes to the newer chassis. I don't know why I had the... Uh, the original chassis only had one engine, and all the wheels were set the same, and that's uh, that's no no good for something like this. Go ahead and pop a wheelie. There we go, and let it edge off here. There we go. Can we do a stoppy with this thing? I don't know if this one can do it. It doesn't seem like the uh, the front suspension on this one does not give at all. Like it, You'll see it bounce up maybe about a block or two, but that's probably about it. Oh, we hit that at a bad angle. But yeah, that's a that's my monster truck skills. As you can see, I'm pretty lacking when it comes to uh, all the monster jam skills. But I do think the trucks themselves came out quite nice. Uh, so we've got that truck there. Uh, like I said, the other trucks I'm gonna leave them in the map for you guys. So when you download this, pretty much just have I'm gonna go ahead and say it like this: just pretty much have most of the Durf and most of the Lord Pain mods. If you have both of those set up. You're going to be golden. You're not going to have any issues running this map. Uh, I'll leave the trucks in here for you guys. So you'll have the Komodo truck. You'll have the uh, Toro Loco. I'll have the Maximum Destruction here. Uh, we'll have the Grave Digger. We'll have an empty chassis. So if you want to build your own. Which I think this is also in the workshop. And if I can track down Monster Mutt. Which I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. So if I track it down. Uh, we'll get Monster Mutt on there for you guys too. So yeah. Uh, have fun. Maybe do some uh, Monster Jam rallies. Let's see. Have we ever hit this backwards? Let's go ahead and try to hit this backwards real quick. Yeah, if you want to do this with your friends, I'm pretty sure this one works in multiplayer. I don't like the maps too big yet. Uh, let's run at the back of this. I don't know if Grave Digger can do it. Yeah, Grave Digger's uh, the back of the body hangs out a little bit more, so it kind of bottoms out there. This one wants to uh, do a willy by itself. It's been a while since I've driven this one. This one's uh, will seem a little bit floppier than the other ones. Uh, this one might be under Chassis 1, which Chassis 1 was built, I think, probably close to a year ago, so... Oh! <laughs> okay, I did not expect it to do that. Hold on, I think Gravedigger might be a good backflipper. If that... Oh, that almost rhymes. Uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna throw this up there, get out of it, and we're gonna reset and try to hit this one more time. And then we will uh, wrap this video up. Alright, Gravedigger. Give us a backflip here. You almost flipped on a ramp back there, so in theory this should work. Oh! Oh, this one stalls out a little bit. Oh! Okay. Well, that was a weird pop there at the end. This one might need a, a little bit more speed added to it. Yeah, this is definitely the old chassis. Looks kind of weird. There's a couple of extra bearings that are a little unnecessary. Uh, one thing also that you can tell between the old and the new, uh, you can see how the wheels are kind of flopping around. Uh, this hasn't been adjusted on this one. Can I get out? Do I have a... There's a seat block. Uh, I actually have the wheels sticking a little back and forward here. I've got these thru or I got these bearings that are on controllers here. And you can see how it sets the wheels in and out a little bit. But anyways, uh, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. It was just a quick, hey, this thing's not dead. We're done with it, though. Uh, if we ever come back to it, it's going to be in some sort of multiplayer setting. I can't picture anything else I really want to actually add to it. Uh, some people said they wanted to see it converted over to like an off-road, maybe like truck stadium. Which, that's still an option. I could cut out all the ramps and just use the stadium itself. Uh, but as far as Monster Jam, this series is wrapped up. Uh, we could always come back and maybe do a Monster Jam build or two, but... As far as the arena, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So, But like I said, it's a Dropbox link below if you want to download this map. And you can do that there. Like I said, have the uh, the Durf mods and the Lord Pain mods. Just pretty much have them all. If you've already downloaded one of them, you probably have most of them. Because they're both amazing modders in the Scrap Mechanic community. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time here in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.